She was on the road with Judy Gum. I knew her as Judy Gum, the Gum Sisters. That's when I knew where I knew her from. Uh, I was on the road with uh, Cliff Edwards, Ukulele Ike, playing the Tower Theater in Kansas City, and the Gum Sisters were on that bill. And now time passed, and uh, I was playing with a Ricky Tink dance band in, uh, in uh, the Broadmoor Hotel in Denver, outside of Denver. And now she was Judy Garland, and they were manufacturing a star, along with Mickey Yule, Joe, Mickey Rooney, who was J Joe Yule's son, the burlesque comic. And uh, they were on the road promoting a series that was going to be made in Metro called the Andy Hardy series. And it's like a bad movie. The pianist became ill, and then you traveled on trains. You didn't fly someplace the next day. And the pianist became ill, and the theater manager in Denver said, they were desperate to have somebody to play piano for Judy. And uh, the theater manager said, there's a kid plays in the band at the Broadmoor. And the only recommendation, he said that I read music. That's all. That was my recommendation. And I went down. I suppose I auditioned. I don't know what I did. All of a sudden, I was on the road. You know, We were the unho unholy trio. We were all about the same age. That was it. What was your relationship with Judy Garland like at that time? Well, my memories and my relationship with Judy are totally warm. Uh, uh, obviously, I saw her in the New York years when uh, things had fallen apart, but I think, in many ways, I think she was one of my understanding, close as you can be when you're a kid, close young friends, I think, when you're. 16, 17, 18 years old, I think. Relationships mean a lot. Had, I watched her marriages and, you know, looked at her with strange eyes. I worked with David Rose, so naturally I was very close to that. <laughs>